Hello viewers, this is Not Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be doing a repair on this 1999 Honda Accord. The front driver's outside handle is actually broken, so you're not able to open a door from the outside. This is a very common problem with this generation of Honda Accord. Especially with the age of the vehicle, the plastic tend to break. The problem with the car is the front driver's outside handle is broken. As you can see, it does not open the door. Behind the handle, the plastic is broken off. To get this door open, what you have to do is go in from the back and open it from the inside. To replace that outside handle, we'll need to remove the door panel right here and then get to the lock mechanism behind the panel. So let's get the car into the garage. To remove the door panel, there are two screws you need to remove. One over here, one over here, and there's a plastic clip at the front side here. Remove the plastic cap, and then remove the screw behind it. At the bottom here, there's a screw behind this cover. Remove the mirror cover. It's held in by clips. Two clips right here. With this plastic clip at the front, use a pry tool like this and carefully pop this open. Remove the inside door handle, slide it forward, pull this out. There's a metal rod you need to remove. Push this plastic clip to this direction and then lift this rod up. Disconnect this connector. To remove the switch panel, start from the back here, lift it up and disconnect all the connectors here. There are plastic clips all along the side and the bottom of this panel. Reach behind the panel and pop it open. Now lift this panel up. You also need to disconnect this light bulb at the bottom of the panel. And now you can remove the panel. You need to pull back on this vapor barrier there's adhesive all along the side right here. And also there's a plastic clip holding it in. Let me show you what's inside this door. Right here is a door handle. There's a metal bracket that's holding it in. And this held in with two 10 millimeter bolts. On the left side here, you see this white connector. This is a switch for the car alarm system. So it'll know if you unlock and lock the door with a key or remote control. We'll first need to remove this. It's held in with one Phillips screw right here. Next, I'm gonna disconnect this metal rod that you see right here. Now loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts that's holding this metal bracket in. It's one here, and the other one is over here. Now you want to loosen the bolt, but not remove it. For that back bolt, I'll be using this quarter inch ratchet. Next, we'll need to remove a metal clip that's underneath this lock cylinder right here. Now you're not going to be able to see it. I'll put a mirror underneath it so you can see what I'm talking about. Looking at the mirror, this bronze color clip is what you'll need to remove. The best thing is to use a pick tool like I have here and then pull this clip downwards. Now it's really hard to film this, but you can see where my hook is. It's behind the clip, so I need to pull this down. As you heard, the clip came out and fell down. Here's a look with the clip off. And this is what that clip looked like. Now go ahead and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding this bracket. Here's one. Here's the other one. From the outside, you can push that lock cylinder out. I'll carefully remove it.
Here it is. Now you remove this bracket. I see there's a wiring harness with a plastic clip that's holding this bracket in. So go ahead and release that clip and this piece will come out. Here I'll be using a long needle nose. With the outside door handle, now you can pop this out. There's still one more connecting rod that you need to disconnect. as this one right here. The plastic piece that's holding this connecting rod is pretty much a one-time use. It's held in very tight, so once you pop this out, this plastic clip will be damaged. But that's okay because a new handle will come with a new clip. Before I put the new one in, let me show you what's wrong with the broken one. This piece here, as you can see, is broken. That's why you can't open a door with a handle. Here's a look at the brand new OEM replacement handle. Part number 72180-S84-A01ZM. Now this one I have here is color match to the vehicle I have here. If you buy from Honda, you can get the different colors you need. Now if you don't care about color, you can get an aftermarket black handle very cheap. And I'll include the link for those parts in the description below. Here's a look at the new handle. As you can see, the lock cylinder has a clip installed already. Leave this clip in here because later on, all we need to do is snap that cylinder straight in and it'll lock it in place. If you want to make installation a little easier, you can put a little grease around the side right here. Also, the plastic clip for that rod is right here. Install the rod. Put the handle back in. Here's a look at the new door handle. I'll put that wiring harness clip back on. Now reinstall the bracket. Reinstall the 10 millimeter bolts for the bracket. Now you don't need to tighten it all the way at this time. Let me give you a closer look at the lock cylinder. You'll see on both sides it's beveled. This will allow you to push this in where that metal clip is and it'll snap it in place. Here I'm putting a little grease on the side and that'll make install a little easier. Now push it in. Reconnect that rod. Now tighten the two 10 millimeter bolts. Reinstall the flip screw. Before you close everything up, make sure it works. Put the vapor barrier back on. Reinstall the plastic clip. Reinstall the lights. Put the door panel back on. Reconnect the switch panel. Install the screw. Reinstall the inside handle. Don't forget to reconnect the rod. Slide this back. Install the screw. Reinstall the cap. Install the mirror cover. And the plastic pin. Test the switch, make sure it works. One final check. 
So for those of you who own this generation of Honda Accord, if you have a broken driver's side outside door handle, I hope you found this video to be helpful. For a list of parts and tools used in this repair video, I'll include the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click on a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to support this channel. Also click on the notification bell so you'll get notified of my new videos. Thank you and have an awesome day.